Hi everyone, so if you're watching this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this issue or this error. Once you are setting up your hotspot miner, you probably ran into it. It says hotspot not found on onboarding server, unable to add hotspot, please contact your hotspot manufacturer for the next steps. I've messaged Bobcat Miner, they have not responded. Um, I did join their Discord chat and someone on there was able to help me, so shout out to them for um, showing me how to fix this issue. But I'm going to be showing you guys now how you guys can address this and how you can start mining with your hotspot sooner than later. Okay, so this is a quick solution. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm resetting the whole miner. I'm connecting to it through a diagnostic tool that's going to allow me to pick up the IP address and then I'm going to go into a web browser that is connected on the same network with that IP address and then I'm going to have a lot more options um, as far as to resetting um, the miner back to factory settings and having it set up brand new um, moving forward. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your iOS app store or Android app store and search for hotspot utility or helium hotspot utility. This is what the app looks like. It's that second one at the bottom. Make sure you downloaded this exact same one. Um, and once you're done, just hit open. So once you've downloaded the app, you have to make sure you go into the miner and you pair it using Bluetooth by pressing that BT button on the back of it. So here's where we place our Bobcat miner. It is by the window. It has a clear view of the sky. There's nothing disrupting it. There's no trees or anything like that. We even removed the bug screen that was in the window. And now we're gonna go back to it just so we can start troubleshooting it. We're gonna press that BT button with the SIM tool provided. We're gonna press it for about five seconds. Then the green light should turn blue, which means it's ready to be paired with Bluetooth. Um, now we're gonna open up that Hotspot Diagnostic app. So once you've downloaded the app, you're gonna go and click the search icon at the bottom right. It should show up your miner. You're gonna click connect on that. And then this is gonna show if you're connected with Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We're connected through Wi-Fi, but in order to connect your miner to Wi-Fi, you click configure. Then you select your Wi-Fi network. Enter your password and hit connect. And then we're gonna click diagnostics report at the bottom, you're gonna click run. And this is gonna pull up this information. I will screenshot this and save it. Um, you're gonna need that IP address at the bottom. So once you guys have finished running the diagnostic tool and you got your IP address, you're gonna go into any um, browser on any computer. As long as that computer is connected to the same network as the Helium hotspot miner, you're gonna type in that IP address, you can hit enter, and then this is gonna come up. Once you're here, um, it, you can see a different stats here, the temperature, it says that mine is fully synced. Yours is probably not gonna say any name up here. It might even show an error. Um, if it does show an error, you're still gonna have these options. What I, what I had to do was, I had to click reset miner. And then once you hit reset miner, it says this action will delete all the helium software and blockchain data and that your miner start resyncing from zero. Make sure you don't lose power or internet connectivity during the reset. Are you sure you wanna reset it now? You're gonna click okay. I already did this. Uh, once you reset it, it will take a few minutes. Um, come back like in 20 minutes um, and try to set up the miner again. And once you're at that step, then um, you can pretty much just continue with the setup. You're gonna be able to set your location with the miner. You're gonna be able to just finish setting it up completely. Um, and then it's gonna start syncing again. You can always come to this website whenever you want just to look at stats like you know, it would say uh, how far away you are from being fully synced here. Um, and there are different things here about the miner as well. Um, you can run a speed test. You can, you know, get data from the miner. Um, this, is, this is a very useful tool. So that's pretty much how I fixed that issue. Um, hopefully that was able to help you guys out in one way or another. The only other thing I would add on to this is to make sure that you leave the miner plugged in for a few hours. Um, so once you get it, plug it in, leave it plugged in for four to six hours then try to set it up just to avoid any issues. I read online that that helped out a lot of people um, and hopefully it helps out you guys. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe, share my videos, like and comment. I always respond to comments as fast as I can. Um, and thank you guys, I will see you guys in the next one.